Peace. Yeah, so on a, on a more grounding level, that these, um, these ways of jealousy or this, this energy, because you can feel, you know, when someone's jealous, you can feel that she's jealous, the energy, you can feel it, and, um, you know, jealousy, it's a kind of a wild thing when you think about it, because if you're full bored into this game, um, if you're bored into it, then you can kind of become aware that there's kind of rules to the game. There needs to be kind of like codes, just like a computer game. Um, there needs to be codes, there needs to be rules, so people can um, not, you know, walk off the path so easy. And to be honest with you, you have to kind of question the fact that maybe some people are meant to walk off the path, some people are meant to walk off the path, and that's why you have to question um, some things, and jealousy is not necessarily a negative thing or a bad thing, I mean, who gives you the right to say jealousy is a negative thing, because it can be a great thing for someone who wants to stay in um, the, rea the, the, the realm of this reality, of like, um, it can be a great thing. I mean, if you want to, if you want to maybe, um, if you want to be able to, um, stay in the matrix and stay in this realm, then jealousy can be a great thing because you can stay jealous. You can stay, um, stay jealous. You can stay hypnotized in, in this reality. On the other hand, if you don't want to stay in the reality of this reality, um, wait, if you don't want to stay in this realm of the reality, which we think exists to a point, it does exist, but also on another level, um, on another vibration, we also exist. I don't exist here. Physically, I do. Spiritually, I don't. Because you can't see my soul right now. It's just existing within this body. So essentially, within myself, it could be a different place. You can't question that. Where that place is, I don't know. But that soul is potentially existing somewhere else. Although I'm here physically. It can be quite hard to comprehend, but there's no reason to say that that's not true. Because I'm speaking from somewhere else right now. I may be physically speaking to you in this room, but spiritually I'm speaking from somewhere else. So that makes me comprehend and question the more that I can leave this realm. To a point, I need to stay here as well. I need to stay here as well. I need to get things done as well. But jealousy and other emotions like fear and hatred and negativity and toxicity and all these other vo low vibrational um, frequencies actually hold you into believing that this is the realm which only exists, which is limiting for your spiritual um, capabilities to be able to connect and to be able to um, connect to potentially a place from which you are broadcasting this um, perception of reality. Oh. Oh. So, that is why these codes are a key to comprehending potentially that if you want to be limited to um, your eyes and ears and smell and touch and um, taste, then keep possessing lower vibrational um, frequencies because they will hold you there. But if you want to potentially connect to your divinity, um, then start to question what is really going on in your surroundings. Let's do another video. Of this up